Hey guys, it is Tanya and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another speed build. Today I am building a container home. I know we just did a container-esque build that was an eco pop-up market, but I actually built this before that and oh my goodness did I have so much fun with this. For some reason I had this idea, I was like let's build a stacked container home in the middle of the jungle. It's kind of like the same idea where I really love modern builds in the middle of the jungle and I feel like container homes kind of lean in that direction, especially when you're adding the large sliding doors and windows and I just thought it would look really cool here, especially with some of the more muted colors. So it ends up being kind of two different colors of what I would consider rust colors. There's the more muted red tone and the more muted orange tone as well as a gray or silver metal as well. Uh, we won't be adding the silver one for a while though because at first I only had two containers and then I added the third level. I was originally kind of thinking it would be sort of like a tree house and I think it still has that vibe. There is a tree in the back that's growing through the deck and there's a couple of balconies in this build, but you can kind of see those colors coming together now, the two that I was addressing as what I would think of as rust colors, more so the red than the orange. Um, but also, before we get to it, because I know I'm gonna get comments about it, because it doesn't appear till the end of the video, I completely forgot to put a bathroom in this build until I was taking the screenshots. So, you'll see the very last clip of this speed build is me adding a very tiny simple bathroom and i think if i've remembered to put it in earlier it would still be as simple as i put it because it's a container bathroom i made it a three by one so uh, i didn't want to add a whole lot of clutter in it anyway but just just letting you know that i, I know i forgot a bathroom and uh I do add it at the last moment, but I'm sure I'll get lots of uh, comments saying I forgot it. Kind of like when I forgot a fridge a couple weeks ago and I addressed it and I still got so many comments. You forgot a fridge. <laughs> oh, it's very amusing. But anyway, I'm working on some landscaping here and then we're adding the third level. I just, I really love how this build came out. So I, re I hope you guys like it too. I have like this really strong love for Selva Dorada, for the jungle adventure world. And I'm always so excited to share builds here. And for some reason, you guys don't seem to watch these ones. So hopefully you guys like this one because I just love this world. I love building in this world, especially with architecture that doesn't seem like it fits here. It's just, I love it so much. And I don't know if anyone else shares that passion, but you know what? It, I, I share that passion. So hopefully somebody likes it, but if not, I like it. And that rant was brought to you by 2.30 in the morning, Tanya. Yes, I'm recording this immediately after yesterday's voiceover and calm Tanya turned into whatever this is right now. So hopefully this is also enjoyable. Um, but anyway, we're still continuing landscaping. I did add a woohoo bush outside and there is a bunch of vines and stuff all over this build. I'll be adding in a little while. Uh, I use some debug and you'll see that come together and basically how this house is laid out is on the first level there is a living space slash kitchen and then the second level is kind of a hangout space converted into a second bedroom because it has a murphy bed and then there's a loft bedroom up top so i you know it, it's a vacation home i wanted it to be functional for more than one or two sims so you could technically have four sims in this house you just have to pay attention to where each sim is in relation to the murphy bed when you put it down because you can't walk by it once you put it down but you can put it down and you can sleep in it i did play test it and it works perfectly fine also i don't know what i was doing here i decided i'm like oh i'm gonna make rocks with terrain paint we have rocks in the game, like little rug rocks that I could put down that would have looked so much nicer. And I do swap it out for that a little bit later, uh, partially because it'll look better and partially because the terrain paint disappeared because it's a Sims 4 and that happens all the time. But these giant rocks in the background, I was very excited to add those because they are in the background of this world. And I think it just adds a little bit more dimension and interest to the lot to have them directly behind this build. Also this weird floating tree, there's something about it I really like, I don't know. I just, I wanted to add it, so I did. And there's lots of flowers and overgrown grass. I put actually a lot of plants under the build so that it made more sense or looked more lively. Like it wasn't just a house with plants everywhere, but it's rise 
like raised off the foundation or raised off the floor of the foundations higher up but there was no grass under it that didn't make sense to me so I did put some of that there as well and uh oh these these little statue things that we got with eco lifestyle I thought they were the perfect colors for this build as just like a decorative piece outside since this is a vacation spot and I feel like this is like one of those ones you go and you stay there and you're like, look at this cool place. And you're like taking pictures of it for Instagram. I don't know. I feel like that's kind of tooting my own horn a little bit there. Uh, I didn't intend it that way. Although I do really, really love this build. I just think it's a unique place if you're going and spending a vacation in the jungle and you're like staying in this really crazy looking stacked container home. I'd be taking pictures. I would love to do something like that in real life. Although I think I'd be afraid to go to the jungle because like everything can kill you. So yeah, yeah. My Sims have died in the jungle. It's, it, <laughs> I'm, I'm not very good at keeping them alive when they go to Selvadorada. So we, we just don't do that anymore. Like, you know, why, why risk that? I mean, you could just stay home and get eaten alive by flies or uh, drown in the pool. I mean, there's lots of ways to die at home. Why do you gotta go to the jungle to do it? So anyway, <laughs> we're in the kitchen now. I use these countertops from Base Game because I think they just fit the theme really well and we didn't get any new ones with the eco lifestyle as much as I wanted new ones and they could have given us something cool, but that's fine. Because I feel like if we got ones with this pack, they would have been ultra stylized most likely to fit the theme they were going for here. And I would actually like some more simple counters that would fit in any house. So I think I'm okay with it. But the next pack, please give me counters. I need counters so badly. Like I'm not even watching my playback right now. I'm just thinking about counters. Uh, but this is the little lounge area. There's a small TV. I used that couch in that orange swatch. I don't ever use that one, but I thought it worked really well here, especially because it has the metal frame and you know, we're in a metal building. Also each level of this shipping container, I made the shorter ends on the interior the same color or the texture of the shipping container on the outside on the inside as well so they have more modern walls for the most part but the ends in each one correspond to the outside of the container if that makes sense but out here we do have a dining table and then on the second balcony right here there's just a lounge space it's nothing too complicated and then inside we're moving to the hangout slash secondary bedroom space. So this is where the Murphy bed is. There also ends up being a desk in here. You can sit down at your laptop and work on. And then I will be adding momentarily the archeology span table as well. Just watching this back, can I just say the ability to just nudge doors and windows over is so good. I did it so many times to make the Murphy bed fit a little bit better behind the ladder and like, look at that. The fact that we can do that now still blows my mind. That's something I thought we would never get in The Sims. So I'm very excited about it. I feel like there's more things I wish we could nudge a little bit more or raise and lower, like mirrors properly. And, uh, but, but, but like, I'm not complaining. I'm very happy. It also worked for the stove thing from <laughs> Dine Out that I used in that eco market. Uh, that moves smoothly on the wall as well. I guess because it's sort of like a window, it makes sense that that would be updated. Uh, but I just think it's really cool that we have that ability now. But anyway, up here on this upper balcony, I do have a easel and a couple of chairs. And uh, it's just a pretty simple seating space. And then the loft, I really like how this came out. I know some of you guys might not like the color of the wall because it's a very interesting like olive green color but I kind of love that I also really really enjoy this bed that came with this pack it's probably my favorite bed in the game right now there's just something about it that is both simple and more complicated because it has a lot of texture to it with the different materials I really like the pillow that's in the middle I've seen those quite a bit and uh yeah it's just a really pretty bed and I like this swatch that has the yellow pillow it just it fit the color scheme very very well in here and uh yeah so I I added a couple more decorations. I've been using these tiny living dressers constantly lately. They just fit so well in smaller spaces and obviously I build a lot of tiny homes. I don't think this one's a tiny home. It might be but I highly doubt it. I wasn't intending it to be but the nature of having a container home or a stacked container home is it's going to be pretty small because I like the idea of keeping it generally to the size and shape of the containers. Of course you could use that wallpaper and 
make whatever or stack them side by side and knock out all the walls in between kind of like how we knocked out one of the floors for the loft upstairs uh, but here's that bathroom I forgot about I am adding it it's very simple <laughs> Uh, I can't believe I forgot that. I've just been forgetting parts of houses. I feel like everybody that builds in The Sims does that though. Forgot a fridge, forgot a trash can, forgot a toilet, forgot a stove. Mostly mailboxes and trash cans though. But today it was a whole entire bathroom and uh, I'm honestly a little bit ashamed about that. But with that, we are coming to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this build and whatever the heck this voiceover was because um, it, it was an interesting one and I enjoyed it. So I hope you guys did too. But uh, if you like this video or this build, you can give this a big thumbs up. That would help me out. You can also subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And if you click that bell, it'll turn on notifications so you're notified of every single time I upload a video. Thank you guys so very, very much for watching. Enjoy the screenshots and I will see you guys soon. Bye everybody.